love your shirt, Paul. <laughs> Thank you. It's getting its first run on the air. <laughs> Very good. All right. Welcome, everybody, to the February 27th ORI FPGA meetup. And uh, we'll talk about what we've done, what we have planned, if we need any resources or have any roadblocks. Um, and uh, so, go, why don't you go ahead and start us off, Paul, and let us know if everything in the remote lab is, is working okay. Uh-oh, mm -hmm. you're muted. I very clear, carefully clicked it, and I was already unmuted. Okay, so that, that about doubles length of my report. So everything is working in the remote <laughs> lab, as far as I know, and uh, nothing uh, nothing really on the, on the blocks, nothing going on. Yeah, I haven't noticed any problems. Um, I did have a weird slowdown in the um, opulent voice simulink work. I think this is self-inflicted because of the sample rate, so I'm not not too worried. And everything sped up when I when I went through and, and changed it all to fixed point and 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 got it all you know poked and prodded in the right format. So so yeah, everything seems to be working well. All right, I'm looking for I'm looking for Ken because he was going to talk about uh, roadblocks with the implementation of the polyphase filter bank. But I'll go I'll go ahead and talk a little bit about opulent voice. The uh, that's on the receive side of the essentially what we consider the, the satellite payload, you know, or ground sat. So the, on the receive side. And so big step forward, we were able to uh, back up and take a, a, another good look at actually what we we're trying to accomplish, uh, do some more reading and look at implementations and, and constructed a signal correctly. So there's now no phase discontinuities with the minimum frequency shift keying uh, signal or MSK signal, or offset QPSK, say QPSK signal, uh, however you want to look at it. So the the math for this and the signal construction is actually quite interesting and has some some subtle subtleties to it. So the strategy that we're doing is to have our bitstream, you divide the bitstream into even and odd, uh, you extend them out to where uh, they're, they're twice a, a bit uh, width or length, uh, offset them by one bit length and then you you do a little bit of carrier math so you you go ahead and you multiply them by uh, orthogonal signals then you multiply those by the carrier signal um, and kapow you add those things together and then you get the signal we were after uh, which we were trying to construct in a, a more crude manner um, and so that's a that's a big deal uh, it looks really nice and uh, and so I moved back to what I was doing two weeks ago, which was uh, trying to design a receiver in in Simulink to be converted with HDL Coder, and then that body of work to go into the hardware reference design so that it can run on the ADRV 9009, and that's going to proceed. So now it's up to me to figure out all that uh, digital down conversion filtering. Um, we actually got got up to the point where we were looking at what might be plausible results for uh, stolen filters. So I just lifted some filter design, digital down conversion from an OFDM example from MathWorks. These are probably not the right filters, but the coefficients are, are pretty, are gonna be close, it's in the ballpark. Uh, and out popped some, some integrated power results. So we're on the right track. Uh, so I should have something to add to the receiver. Um, and And that's the, that's my main main report. It was really good to kind of get past that. It was very frustrating to look at, you know, time domain stuff and see what was obvious phase discontinuities, you know, or what are going to cause phase discontinuities when I've been repeatedly assured that all you got to do is stick the symbols together. It's actually not not that simple. Um, so nothing worth doing is always easy. <laughs> this is no exception. Uh, so what I'd like to do also is take the sort of, I was just doing this as a test bench to create these these signals to go into the receiver. But that actually, you know, I, I'm going to go ahead and, and make it make the transmitter side and attempt to turn that into VHDL as well. Uh, so that's going to need a little more work to turn it completely into fixed point and to iron out some some problems with rates and, and things like that. But the signal generation is 
is working. A whole lot more simple than what I was doing before, too, which is always nice. Okay, that that's a good wrap up for me, at least on on Opulent Voice. Earlier today, we had a, 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 spe a specification review meeting for Neptune. Uh, so that recording will be out. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing the next revision of the Neptune FlexLink specification, uh, it will be, if it's not already in the repository, it will be soon. And we spent about an hour walking through uh, all of the the new things for for Neptune. Uh, this will this is also being uh, converted into HDL uh, with a lot of help from Simulink to see what the heck's going on. Uh, and wow, OFDM is pretty well. L L LTE really, you know. So OFDM by itself, a, a mortal can understand it with some work. Uh, but LTE practices and and stuff are can be can be hard. Uh, and some of the nomenclature can be confusing, but we're uh, we're plowing through and and uh, making it as as accessible and and explainable as possible. So that's uh, that's it for me. I'll hand it over to Ken. You can tell us uh, what what how can we help you with the the troubles that you've been having. Uh, not here. I'm a uh, little bit of progress this week. Just trying to kind of. Go step by step inside the uh, the the GUI to kind of mimic the lines that I'm trying to execute in Tickle, and um, was able to get the the block fully like populated out. Uh, so the tree is fully populated in in the the source tree, and I can actually drag the block into the design. <clears throat> But the uh, right now it's basically presenting a a very strange uh, uh, module. It's expanding all the ports. Like I have sixty four bit buses, and it's taking that as a um, sixty four separate buses. And I'm so I'm trying to. There's a flag that I tried to tried to set that they said. Give, give this a try, but uh, it didn't immediately fix it. I tried to re basically re re rerun it um, with that flag set. So then, since then, I've uh, just touched the top level design and recompiled just to try it again. Sometimes I have to restart because the way the when you when you add a add a source into the tree, it somehow you know it. It's there's no save in Vivado. It's just all, automatically all, always updating the design, and so it's sometimes tough to unwind. Even if you delete the uh, like the thing that you just imported, it seems like it somehow has a memory of that. And so, yeah, that's just kind of. Uh, Still trying to work on this, uh, bringing in this design, though. So that's that's what I'm doing. Well, it sounds like progress to me, and I bet it was. Um, I bet it was kind of exciting to see the 64, <laughs> six one to 64 expansion in your in your block. That sounds like it. I would I would have gone yikes. <laughs> so yeah, it does look make for an interesting schematic when it brings in like that because there were several buses that it blew up like that. So. But uh, yeah, try. I'm trying to. I re overnight re synth. I re rebuilt it, trying it again with that flag set from scratch and seeing if that will allow me to import the uh, design without it blowing that up like that. So cool. Okay, I'm looking forward to hearing how that goes. Um, yeah, this will be be a big step to get a a nice. Uh, channelizer into the into the design so all right uh any, anybody else uh matthew you have the floor oh well, thank you no i don't have anything uh going on right now to discuss but um glad to be here yeah thank you very very happy that you're here it's always nice to to see you all right everybody um any last any last comments or questions or anything uh, anything needed at all 
before we close. Cool. Okay. Well, I will see you on Slack and, uh, and Ken, I'll check in with you uh, in a bit and see how that's going. And I am going to, I'm going to get some time today to, to work on uh, the, the um, opulent voice receiver. Uh, so I'll, I'll post, I'll post anything uh, that happens there to the opulent voice channel. Um, and uh, yeah, looking forward to, to the next week. This should be good. Thank you, everybody.